On December 19, 2025, it was announced that serial production of the new Russian industrial microcontroller, known as Baikal U-1000, had officially begun. The development of this microcontroller was first revealed in the summer of the same year. According to Andrei Evdokimov, chief executive officer of Baikal Electronics, the new microcontroller is now available for purchase in any required quantity. This announcement marks an important milestone for Russia's domestic electronics industry, particularly in the context of ongoing efforts to achieve technological independence and reduce reliance on imported electronic components. Baikal U-1000 is a modern three-core general-purpose microcontroller designed for industrial use. It is based on the Open Risk v architecture and is intended for a wide range of applications, including industrial automation systems, electric motor control, Internet of Things devices, embedded control platforms, and automotive electronics. The start of serial production confirms that the device has moved beyond prototype and pilot stages and is now ready for real-world deployment. At the core of Baikal U-1000 is a three-core processor architecture developed by the Russian company CloudBear. The microcontroller includes two BR350 cores, each operating at a maximum clock speed of 200 MHz, along with one BM310 core running at up to 100 MHz. This mixed-core arrangement allows the processor to balance performance, energy efficiency, and real-time responsiveness. The BR350 cores are intended for computationally intensive tasks. The BM310 core is optimized for auxiliary control functions, background operations, and low-power workloads. This division is particularly valuable in industrial environments, where different tasks often have very different performance and timing requirements. The choice of the RISC-V instruction set architecture is also significant. RISC-V is an open and expandable architecture that allows developers to customize processor features without paying licensing fees. For the Russian electronics industry, this approach provides greater flexibility, long-term independence, and stronger control over future processor development. One of the most important technical features of the Baikal U-1000 is its advanced memory system. The microcontroller includes a total of 192 kilobytes of on-chip random access memory. Out of this amount, 160 kilobytes are implemented as tightly coupled memory. Tightly coupled memory is integrated directly with the processor cores, allowing data to be accessed without passing through intermediate caches or buffers. Unlike conventional memory, Tightly coupled memory provides predictable and consistent access times, which are critical for real-time applications. This design ensures very low latency and stable performance, even under heavy computational load. Because of this memory architecture, Baikal U-1000 is well-suited for applications such as smart sensors, industrial controllers, advanced motor drives, and signal processing systems where precise timing is essential. In such systems, even small and unexpected delays can lead to instability or reduced performance. In addition to tightly coupled memory, the microcontroller also includes extra on-chip static random access memory and interfaces for external memory. This allows system designers to expand available memory resources based on the specific needs of each application. Baikal U-1000 is equipped with a wide selection of modern peripheral interfaces, allowing it to integrate easily into many different systems. It supports Universal Serial Bus version 2.0 with on-the-go functionality, multiple Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter interfaces with RS-485 support, as well as Serial Peripheral Interface, Inter-Integrated Circuit, Controller Area Network, Controller Area Network Flexible Data Rate, quad serial peripheral interface, and integrated interchip sound. The microcontroller also includes multiple timers, pulse width modulation controllers, analog to digital converters, and general purpose input-output ports. A built-in joint test action group interface enables debugging and development, 
making the device suitable for professional engineering workflows. Thanks to this broad set of interfaces, Baikal U1000 can connect directly to sensors, actuators, communication modules, industrial networks, and external controllers without requiring additional bridge chips. As a result, designers can reduce component counts, simplify circuit boards, and improve overall system reliability. A notable feature of the Baikal U1000 is its built-in support for electric motor and actuator control. The microcontroller includes dedicated peripherals and control mechanisms specifically designed for managing electric motors. Using these features, the microcontroller can regulate motor speed, control torque, and process feedback from encoders, current sensors, and other monitoring devices. This makes it well-suited for applications such as industrial motors, robotic systems, conveyor lines, pumps, fans, and precision motion control equipment. In many industrial settings, motor control systems require both high computational performance and strict real-time behavior. Baikal U1000 meets these demands by combining its multi-core design, tightly coupled memory, and specialized motor control hardware into a single integrated solution. The microcontroller also includes hardware support for cryptographic operations, providing an additional layer of security for industrial and connected systems. Hardware encryption units enable secure data exchange, authentication, and protection against unauthorized access, which are increasingly important in industrial networks and connected device environments. Another important capability is support for programming using Python through MicroPython. This significantly lowers the entry barrier for developers and allows for rapid prototyping and faster development cycles. Engineers can test ideas, develop control logic, and debug systems more efficiently than with low-level programming alone. At the same time, Baikal U1000 fully supports development in the C and C++ programming languages. This ensures compatibility with established embedded software tools and allows developers to perform low-level optimization when maximum performance is required. When Baikal U1000 was first announced in the summer of 2025, it had no direct domestic equivalents, offering a similar combination of performance, memory design, peripheral integration, and motor control features. The microcontroller has since been officially registered with the Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade, which allows it to be used in government projects and state-funded procurement programs. The launch of mass production reflects Russia's broader strategy to strengthen technological independence in critical sectors. Industries such as industrial automation, energy systems, transport, and telecommunications all rely heavily on embedded control electronics, making domestic microcontrollers strategically important. At the same time, experts note that certain challenges remain. Although the design and architecture are developed within Russia, semiconductor manufacturing still depends on international cooperation, especially for advanced manufacturing processes and packaging technologies. Even so, Baikal U1000 represents a meaningful step toward reducing dependence on foreign microcontroller platforms. When compared with leading foreign microcontrollers based on architectures such as ARM Cortex-M, Baikal U1000 may lag slightly in areas like maximum clock speed and the maturity of its software ecosystem. Well-known platforms such as STM32 benefit from decades of development, extensive documentation, and large global developer communities. However, Baikal U1000 offers competitive performance for many industrial and real-time applications, particularly where predictable behavior, security, and domestic origin are important factors. As its surrounding software ecosystem continues to grow, its overall competitiveness is expected to improve further. The start of serial production of Baikal U1000 represents more than a single technical achievement for one company. It marks an important advancement for Russia's microelectronics industry and demonstrates the viability of domestically developed embedded solutions. Over the long term, 
Baikal U-1000 could become a base platform for future generations of industrial controllers, automation equipment, and Internet of Things devices built using Russian technology. By supporting open architectures, real-time operation, and modern development tools, the microcontroller helps foster a sustainable domestic ecosystem for embedded systems. As adoption grows and technical expertise expands, Baikal U-1000 has the potential to establish itself as a key building block of Russia's industrial electronics landscape. In doing so, it can contribute to stronger technological resilience in strategically important areas of the national economy. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.